Welcome back to Island Time. Let's get right back into the news for the second time today. Have fun, be safe. I don't know if you've heard it before. Have fun, be safe. You are about to hear that phrase over and over as you cruise, especially in July. We're going to tell you why right now on Island Time. Here we go, welcome back to Island Time. I know we just met this morning, we talked about Galveston, the port of Galveston and their thoughts on cruising in July. And they, they had great thoughts. A 75% chance is what they give us to cruise with some minor details to be worked out, okay? We mentioned there may be news this week of protocols and vaccinations or no vaccinations. And tonight, we get a hint of it. I'm recording this uh, Monday, May 24th. It's 9.30 Central Time, okay? A lot of you would want, will probably see this tomorrow, but that's okay. So... Christine Duffy sent this out. You're going to see it right here. Uh, two guests that are selling in August of 2021. Um, and they are cruise departures from U.S. home ports, excluding, okay, excluding the Breeze, Horizon, Miracle, and Vista. Those, of course, are the four ships sailing in July. Okay, so the, those ships are not included in what we're going to talk about, which gives us a major hint of what we are talking about. Here's what the letter says to August Travelers. Dear Carnival guest, we are very excited about our upcoming restart and have been working hard for the return of guest operations. We are in the process of finalizing our August selling schedule and hope to have this completed soon. Okay, we know you are eager to understand our plans for your sailing in August and appreciate your patience. In the meantime, we are making the following accommodations to provide you with maximum flexibility. Final payments due in May have been extended until June the 14th. Okay, we've seen Carnival do that uh, several times now, including for our July cruises. Okay, you may cancel without penalty by June 14th and receive a full refund. Carnival's gotten a lot faster at giving those refunds if you so choose. If you booked a refundable fare with a final payment due after June 14th, you have until that later date to cancel for refund consistent with your original, original fare rules. If you exercise your ability to cancel without penalty under these such rules, you will not be eligible for any offer made to guests should the selling ultimately be canceled, we hope that it's not, okay? August canceled, uh, August sellings. We are hoping to be able to provide further information to you prior to June 14th, but this action will allow those who have not yet made final payments to wait until we have greater clarity on sellings before making final payment. And this is where it gets interesting, friends. Here we go. <clears throat> Additionally, in consultation with the cruise industry, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, has developed a revised set of guidelines to balance protecting public health while providing an enjoyable vacation. Among the CDC requirements we are working to implement is the operation of simulated cruises to test our protocols. We've talked about these test sailings. We have said the entire time that there could be indeed vaccinated voyages maybe in the month of July, for the Breeze, Horizon, Miracle, and Vista. Maybe. We don't know. And we've always said that there is a great possibility that they would also do simulated voyages because you only have to do one. The CDC said you only have to do one test voyage to test your protocols, and it's, if it is successful, you can be cleared to cruise. Okay. This will allow us more flexibility to allow unvaccinated children to sell, among other key procedures. Okay, again, giving us all kinds of clues about kids. And it's a very big question around kids in July. Can they cruise? Because if you're vaccinated, if you're selling vaccinated, 95% of passengers have to be vaccinated. 98% of crew have to be vaccinated. What about the kids? Okay. And listen to this. 
as we start to communicate with our guests who are scheduled to sell in July about our Have Fun, Be Safe, trademarked. That is trademarked in the letter. Have Fun, Be Safe is now a trademark of Carnival Cruise Lines. We're going to hear all about it. The protocols that we receive in July, whether or not we have to be vaccinated or not vaccinated, I think we're going to have to be, the protocols for July is going to be called Have Fun, Be Safe. We're going to hear that so many times. So as we hear about Have Fun, Be Safe protocols, they may differ slightly for August as those Procedures continue to evolve. Once we have more information about your cruise, we will be back to you with another update. Thank you for your patience and support. We are dedicated to welcoming you aboard a carnival ship just as soon as possible. Sincerely, Christine Duffy. Here we go, another big clue, okay? We are almost there. And what is what, what I see in this is what we mentioned at the beginning. This is for cruise departures from US ports that sail in August. Okay, excluding the Carnival Breeze, Horizon, Miracle, and Vista. Could they require vaccines in July and possibly beyond? That gives passengers who want to be vaccinated an option to sail on a ship that requires a vaccine. And maybe the rest of the fleet comes back one at a time. Uh, and I don't say one at a time, okay, but uh, maybe one in each port or a couple. Um, at least in a week or two weeks, and they have test sailings, simulated sailings to test the protocols. They only have to have one, they can have more, at least 10% capacity, remember, okay? And if there's an outbreak of the virus that's greater than a one and a half percent, then they have to end the, the voyage, okay? But this is big news, and it gives us a clear picture of maybe what can happen, but it also gives us a picture and an insight a peek behind the curtain of what cruising is going to look like, okay? Have fun, be safe. That is the news tonight. That is the news tonight. I do have to give a shout out to Susan Estrella. Susan and I were talking on Facebook. She noticed this. We were looking out for the news. I saw this, I said, is this true? We communicated, it is indeed true. I looked at my email, it is there. Susan, thank you for the heads up. You did not know about Island Time, and now you do, okay? I hope that you subscribe, Susan, and I hope all of you subscribe, because when you do, it sends you a notification that a new video is uploaded. And you may be busy at the time, that's okay, but you know that we have new content out for our community, and you can watch it whenever you so choose, okay? We're gonna stay on top of things. It's going to be a huge week, I can feel it. We are due for the news and the protocols. Stay with us here on Island Time. We promise to keep you updated, whether it's 7.30 a.m. or it's the same day at 9.30 p.m. Central Time, we are on top of things, okay? Please leave a comment in the section below. Please like our video, subscribe, and share with your friends. I hope we are all on an island soon. I hope we're on a cruise ship together soon. Okay, it's time for bed. We'll talk to everyone tomorrow on Island Time.